الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحب في الله a question was asked about a very important topic, especially for new Muslims, new Muslim sisters especially. Uh, and it's a common question, and we dealt with this, and it has been dealt with many times from the scholars and from uh, the students of knowledge in the Du'at al-Khayr. And so this question has to do with a sister's guardianship, and especially in the situation where they have a, a Muslim family, but yet it is a non-practicing family. It's a family that doesn't pray. Uh, for example, the father doesn't pray. And a, a particular question was asked in this regards about the sister who has a Muslim by identity family uh, and that they do not practice at all, okay? No prayer. Uh, if I recall in the question, they said no fasting, no, no nothing. Uh, the main point being that if a woman is in a situation like this where her technical guardian, Islamically from the asl, you know, which is her father if he's a li living, if the guardian and if the near male relatives that can be in place of the guardian or after the guardian, if they are not practicing Islam, meaning they don't pray, and as the Prophet ﷺ said, Man taraka salat faqad kafara, whoever leaves the prayer has disbelieved. So this is a serious threat and the scholars differ with regards to uh, the one who has left the prayer out of laziness is he a disbeliever or not? But it shows us the severity of such a sin uh, that some of them say, no, he is a disbeliever because of this text, which is clear in other nasus, you know, man taraka salat fakad kafara, whoever leaves the prayer is disbelieved. So some of them uh, that they say that this person has left the fold of Islam. Ala kulliha. What is important for us to know is that a guardian that is in this state of a lack of iman, this low state of iman, or perhaps no iman, is not uh, a uh, is not a legal uh, guardian any longer. So, for a sister in those types of scenarios, that they would need to go to their uh, local masjid or Islamic center or what have you and. Uh, notify the imam or the one in charge of those things uh, regarding this affair and he will appoint or he will become the guardian, the imam, the judge. But in these, these scenarios, we're talking, in, in, usually in the West, we don't have those, uh, those appointments in place. So... In those, in those situations, you, the local imam can either appoint a guardian or will be your guardian. And or if you, if you have no local community which is close to you, then a trustworthy brother can fulfill that status. Bi'idnillah ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and make it easy for us all to practice our deen and come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah forgive us all of our many, many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.